Arne Jakobsen's Series 7 chair is a design classic, still produced 30 years after his death. Jakobsen's chairs are used by millions who have no idea he was one of the great modernist architects. Yet Jakobsen designed his furniture to complete and complement his buildings. He was a pipe-smoking perfectionist who designed everything. Exteriors, interiors, furniture, fabrics, materials, fittings and fixtures. There's something very special about the attention to detail and the sense of one person's vision being allowed to actually happen. Jakobsen's early buildings in his native Denmark are white and wiggly, obviously from the decade of deco. Arnie called his later works rational buildings without meaningless ornamentation. The exteriors are as straight and smooth as another famous Danish export, Lego. But Arnie didn't want his buildings to be hard and inhuman. So inside his SAS Royal Hotel in Copenhagen, you find softer organic forms. He created his curvaceous chairs, swans and eggs, especially for the foyer. And running up the middle is this delirious spiral staircase. In the 60s, Oxford University needed a new college. They hired Arnie. The Daily Mail called St Catherine's a sardine tin. Arnie kept his design low and flat out of respect for the local landscape. The single bell tower echoes the city's famous spires. He also nods to the cloisters of old Oxford. But he used totally modern materials, polished concrete and whole walls of glass. For the massive dining hall, Jakobsen didn't just design the lights and furniture, he also created cutlery so space age that Stanley Kubrick filmed it in 2001. But he broke his own rule that form should follow function. The three-pronged fork may look great, but it's harder to eat with. Arnie's last major building was completed in the 70s. I see this building, there's this, this, this smell of power, just like a fortress. This is not a building that invites me in. But venture inside Denmark's National Bank and you emerge into a dazzling lobby. The space is almost entirely empty. This is minimalism on maximum scale. I think he really wanted the world to work better, to feel better, to sort of function better through his designs and through his buildings. A century since his birth, Jakobsen looks more modern than ever. 